Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5070773 because of this error that is your device is missing important security updates. To fix it, the first step is to retry the update. So you can go to Windows Update. Over here, if you see the retry option, hit retry and then check. If that does not work, then start these services. Now for this, you can type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. And then make a right click and then click on restart. Now find Windows Update in the list. Scroll down here. You can see Windows Update. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted. Then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows Update. Click on Restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Apply. Click on Start if highlighted. Now make a right click and then click on Restart. Now you can try to update your Windows 11 and then check still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. So for this go to Windows update and then over here you can see pause update. So click on pause over here and once paused hit resume updates and then you can check still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. And um, this will run a scan. And the scan, once the scan is 100% complete over here, then you have to copy the second command. Paste it on the same window. Hit the enter key. And once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Once the Third scan is 100% complete, restart you can build. And after the system restart, you can try to update. Still not working, use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update that is KB5070773. And then click on search over here. Now, let me change the language. Now over here you can see all the updates uh, for different version. Now you have to type in WINVER in Windows search box and then click on WINVER run command. Check this version. In my case the version is 25H2. Now go to Windows settings and then go to system. And then go to about option and over here you can see system type for me it's 64 bit so for me it's uh, windows 11 version windows 11 version 25h2 x64 base system this is the right one for me if you have windows 11 version 24h2 x64 then this is the right one for you for me this is the right one now click on download and over here click on kb5070773 and once the download is complete, you can click on this file, follow the follow the on-screen instruction, click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. For this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update, go to Advanced option over here, scroll down, go to Recovery option. Here you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, you have to restart your computer. And after the system restart, when you go to update history, you will see the repair version of 25H2 or 24H2. Uh, if you have 24H2 version, then this will be the repair version. Once this is done, you can try to update your Windows 11 and then you can check. Still not working, the last step is to Use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you run this exe file. 
when you run this exe file then you have to click on accept over here and then click on by default windows 11 we selected click on next over here select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop click on save and then let the download complete this process will take time and once this is done click on finish option once you hit finish do not close this manually it will close automatically it will take few seconds or maybe a minute and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel